Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. Today we are doing the Dawn Trail Quest, a sordid situation. Sabli is perplexed by a coffee conundrum. You there, might I beg your assistance with something? I was taking a stroll through the valley the other day when I discovered coffee being scattered in the brush with not a coffee plant in sight. Curiosity got the better of me, and so I brought b some back here to brew. The taste was simply exquisite. I'd like to acquire more, but therein lies the problem. I found the beans in Chabameki, an area south of here known to be the territory of mountain bears. They'd tear me to shreds. Someone tells me you can manage the trip there. Trip? Here. Take these smoke bombs, drive back the bears, and bring back whatever coffee beans you can. Honestly, why do I feel like the smoke bombs that they're sending me to use to hold back bears in order to get coffee beans is not going to work? I mean, honestly, the whole thing just sounds absolutely ridiculous from start to finish. Okay, work in the game better than I thought it would. I was expecting some sort of fight, but wonderful, you've returned. I'm glad to see you still have all your appendages. Ah, uh, but tell me, were you able to find more of those wondrous coffee beans? Marvelous, thank you. Ah, uh, but they seem to be covered in... Is that soil? Hmm, let's appear to be dung. That would explain... Aha! As omnivores of mountain bears feed upon flora and fauna alike, unbeknownst to us, however, it seems they've developed a liking for our coffee plants and have been snacking on them in secret. Because the beans are difficult to digest, they remain whole in the bear's leavings. I think that inside their stomachs, the flavors and fragrance of the plants and fruits they bears normally eat permeate the beans, diminishing their their bitterness and resulting in coffee beans with a fruity, sweet flavor. A most intriguing discovery. One I could have made without your help. Thank you. I dare say we have a new premium blend of coffee on your hands. And, well, I mean, that's pretty much the story of the most most expensive coffees in the world is feed them to certain animals and uh, since they can't digest the beans it, they get the beans get modified uh, but thank you for joining us here today for this little video here on YouTube hopefully we will see you again either for another video on YouTube or maybe one of our many 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 streams over on Twitch uh, where we stream on pretty much a near daily basis uh, till then, though, have a wonderful rest of your day.